Hi there, I'm Professor Zoe Mayhook at the Parish Library of Management and Economics. Whether you're looking for information on a business, a competitor, a market, or a potential employer, you will likely need to conduct some form of company research. However, before you dive in, it's important to distinguish whether a company is publicly traded or privately held, which will help direct your research strategy and give you clues about where to start. This video will provide definitions for both private and public companies and offer a brief overview of their information disclosure requirements, as well as possible sources of company information. Broadly speaking, companies are entities that transact business in a variety of different ways. From small mom and pop companies to major multi-million dollar corporations, the size of the company does not determine whether it is private or public. Small companies can be public, big companies can be private, and vice versa. Whether a company stays private or goes public is instead a management decision. Let's take a look at what these terms actually mean. Private companies are set up and controlled by either a single person or a very small group of people. They do not sell company securities on the public market. Instead, the stockholders are usually the founders, members of a family, key employees, or a small number of private investors. Because company shares are not publicly traded, Private companies do not meet the Securities and Exchange Commission filing requirements and are therefore not obligated to publicly disclose their financial information. This unfortunately makes locating private companies' financial information very challenging. In contrast, public companies do sell their stocks, also known as securities, on the public market. As mentioned previously, choosing to go public is a management decision, which involves trading a percentage of control of a company to shareholders through the public selling of company stock. To protect public shareholders from risky investments, publicly traded companies are required to disclose comprehensive documentation to the SEC that outline a company's financial performance. This makes finding public company information very easy, as these documents are freely available and discoverable through the SEC's Edgar Company Filing Search. When exploring Edgar, you will find a variety of documents and reports. One of the most helpful documents is the 10-K filing, also sometimes referred to as the annual report. The 10-K provides audited financial statements, as well as other golden nuggets, such as the company operations, legal proceedings, and risk factors. There's also the 10-Q, which is their quarterly report with unaudited financial statements. The 10-Q is filed three times a year, with the 10-K filed in the fourth quarter. The 8K, also known as the current report, may be filed several times a year and announces certain events, corporate changes, executive decisions, and more. There are many other documents filed through the SEC, so the best thing to do is to familiarize yourself with what information is available on the SEC website. So at this point, you might be asking yourself, how do I find private company information? The reality is that it depends on the company. You might find some private companies provide a lot of information online, while others do not. I recommend exploring article databases, trade publications, news sources, and company websites as a start. Specialized databases like Privco also offer financial estimates for large private companies. Government resources may also provide useful information. For example, if you would like to know which patents a company owns, check out the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. If your company operates in a regulated industry, like transportation or utilities, for example, you might find financial statements and other company information on related government agency websites. Also check out the Secretary of State websites, which have different disclosure requirements for private companies depending on the state. Also explore industry estimates through the Bureau of Labor Statistics, Economic Census, and Bureau of Economic Analysis. It's also not a bad idea to run similar searches for public companies as well, to make sure you're seeing the complete picture of a company. So why is this important? First, if you're a job hunting, company research gives you valuable insights that help you determine if prospective employers are the right fit with your own values and career plans. Next, investigating competitors is crucial for business success and gaining a competitive advantage. Additionally, looking at these companies within a market can also help you determine trends and opportunities as well as possible threats. That concludes this short video. If you have additional questions, please visit the Purdue Library website or contact us via the Ask a Librarian chat service. Thank you.